This video works through an exam question on dynamic programming. A manufacturing company is planning to build three new machines, A, B and C, at a rate of one a month. And what's important here is the order in which they're built because there are implications for how much profit's made. And you can see there it's felt fairly self-explanatory in the question. Nine marks for this question. The first two marks draw a labelled network such that the most profitable order of manufacture corresponds to the longest path within that network. Well, that's really drawing a network to set the problem up. And then part B, that's where most of the marks are carried, is use dynamic programming. So this is where you would set up your dynamic programming table. We either build in that first month machine A, B, or C. So that's what the network's doing. It has a profit of £52,000, £47,000 for machine B built in that first month, and forty eight for machine C. Right, the relevant information here really is what's been built. So here we would have A built, B built, built there. Okay, so if A is built in the first month, that then gives us the option here of building B in the second month, and that means that A and B are now built. Another option would be to build C if A has already been built. So if we put that there, that gives us A and C built. If B was built in the first month, then if we built A, we would go to this one here, wouldn't we? So that would give us A and B built. And to an alternative one down here, which would be B and C built. So that's building A and that's building C. And then finally for C, if we go to here, that gives us building A. So we have A and C. And if we go to here, that's building B, so we have B and C. If we put the amounts in now from this table here, we can see that in the second month, if we've already built A to build B cost 58, And to build C cost 54. If we've already built B, to build A cost 70. And to build C cost 54. Here, if we've already built C, then to build A is 68. And to build B is 63. To finish off then, we have month 3. If A and B are built, then it would be C built here. If A and C are built, then it would be B. And if B and C are built, then it would be A. And we can put the amounts in here. 
in the final month then the cost of if A and B are built C is 64 if A and C are built the cost of B is 67 and then finally if B and C are built the cost of building A is 69 and they're now all built so that's set the problem up the next stage is to set up our table for dynamic programming so we need to really think about what's relevant as headings for columns well obviously we need the month we need this already built so we need to know what's already been built we need to know the machine that we're building in that month because that's what carries the cost for that particular month isn't it dependent on what's been built previously the profit and then the total with the cost from the month after because remember we're working backwards here aren't we for our dynamic programming table so the first thing we do is we look at the third month and in the third month we have three possible scenarios we've got A and B A and C and B and C those are the three possibilities of what's been built already if A and B have been built then obviously C needs to be built if A and C have been built B needs to be built and if B and C A and then if we look across to our table here we can see the amounts we're working backwards from here so C 64 B 67 and A 69 they're all separate states we see here because this is stage one these are our state variables we need to include them all as maximums because if we end up here the maximum from here is that one the maximum from here is that one the maximum from here is that one there's no choice right this will now change as we move into month two so if, if we go to our first state variable in month two that's here to stage two we've got two possible scenarios here haven't we in st um, state one which is a built b a built and then we build c so if we do that one first at state one we've already built a so the machine that we could then build in that month would be b or c if we build c we can see that that's going to cost us in that particular month 58 and c is going to cost us 54 we then think about well what would have happened in the third month well we can see again if we look up at the network that it would carry a cost of 64 for C wouldn't it so this first one is 58 plus 64 which equals 1 2 2 and then the next one would be 54 and that carries a cost of 67 doesn't it it's the next one down at the next stage and that equals 1 2 1 and here we do need to choose a maximum because we need to know if we're here what's the best route from here so we choose the maximum and it's that one there we then move down one to the next state which is B 
and if B was built we can have A or C. If we build A we can see that the cost of that is 70. If we build C we can see there that the cost of that will C once we've built B in month two is 54, isn't it? So we write 54 in there. We then look at what happens in the following month. So we build A, we get 70 plus 64. And if we build C, we get 54 plus 69. Top them up, that gives us 134 and that gives us 123. So clearly the maximum there is 154. So that leaves us then with the third state which is C if we've built C, then in the first month, then it's either A or B in the second month. The cost of A is 68. And the cost of B, 63. If A is built, then it's 68. That takes us up to here, doesn't it? So it's plus 67. So that gives us 135. And if it's 63, it's 63 plus, and then it's 69, isn't it? Which gives us 132. Again, we pick the maximum out, and we can see there the 135 is the maximum. Finally then, month one, and it's a bit simpler again here because we've only got three choices, one for each, a bit like we had here in month three. So none of them have been built so far, so it's just a simple matter of putting down what A, B and C are. So in the first month, it's 52, 47, and 48. We then go to our maximums from each of these. So A goes to here, and then the maximum from A built in the first month is 122. So in here, we put... 52 plus 122, which equals 174. For B, we get 47 plus the maximum from B being built, which is 134, which equals 181. And then finally, it's 48 plus C being built, the maximum is 135, so that gives us 183. And there's our maximum, and this here is our overall maximised profit. We need to write out, to finish the question, equals, and write it out properly in the units we're given, £183,000. And... Order for building the machines is... Okay, before we finish, as we were going through there, you may have noticed an omission here in the network. And it was, I think, this one here, wasn't it? Where we should, if B was built, C, we should have put 54 on there. So make sure it's complete to make sure you get all of the marks. So we'll now add that 54.